The average length of a great white shark is 23 feet. It can move at a speed of 35 miles per hour, which is really fast for underwater traffic. The bite of a great white has a terrifying force of 1.8 tons per square inch. That's 10 times more forceful than a lion's bite. The basking shark is the second largest shark alive today. You don't have to scatter away as soon as you see this bug-sized giant. Basking sharks are gentle creatures, whose diet consists of fish eggs, plankton, and other tiny organisms. Helicoprion was not only one of the biggest, but also one of the most uncommon prehistoric sharks. It lived about 290 million years ago. These sharks got their name Helicoprion thanks to the highly unusual coils of teeth lining their jaws. But the largest of absolutely all the sharks that have ever lived on this planet was Megalodon. This monster shark controlled the oceans 26 to 2.3 million years ago. This shark got its name Big Tooth because of its terrifying long teeth. They ruled the seas for millions of years as one of the most fearsome predators on Earth. But new estimates suggest gigantic megalodon sharks were actually even bigger than previously thought, measuring up to 65 feet 19.8 meters in length rather than 50 feet 15.2 meters. Growing to the size of a cricket pitch, it was the most massive shark species to have ever lived and was three times the size of the today's largest great whites. The revised estimate came about when a school lesson went awry, leading to the creation of new equations based on the width of a megalodon's teeth, rather than height. Victor Perez, lead author of the new study, was a doctoral student at the Florida Museum of Natural History when he challenged a group of students from California to a math exercise. It used 3D printed replicas of fossil teeth from a real megalodon, which dominated oceans from about 15 to 3.6 million years ago, and a set of commonly used equations based on tooth height to estimate the shark's size. But when the students' calculations ranged from about 40 feet 12.1 meters to 148 feet 45 meters for the same shark, it left Paris stumped. He said, I was going around checking like, did you use the wrong equation? Did you forget to convert your units? But it very quickly became clear that it was not the students that had made the error. It was simply that the equations were not as accurate as we had predicted. Scientists have been trying to calculate the size of megalodon sharks for more than a century, but the only known remains of the extinct species are fossilized teeth and a few vertebrae. As with other sharks, the rest of its skeleton was made up of lightweight cartilage, which decomposed shortly after death. However, tooth enamel for the megalodon, whose name means big tooth, preserves really well, Perez said, and because each one shed thousands of teeth during its lifetime, there are plenty of fossils to study. The most accepted methods for estimating the length of megalodons have used great white sharks as a modern comparison, relying on the relationship between tooth sizes to total body length. But the problem with that is, like in humans, the size and shape of shark teeth vary depending on where they are located in the mouth, so a researcher must first correctly identify the fossilized tooth former position in a megalodon's jaw. By measuring the combined width of each tooth in a row, they developed a model for how wide an individual tooth was in relation to the jaw for a given species. Now, when a paleontologist unearths a lone megalodon tooth, they can compare its width to the average obtained in the study and estimate how big the shark was. However, Perez cautioned that because individual sharks vary in size, the team's methods still have a range of error of about 10 feet 3 meters when applied to the largest species. It is also unclear exactly how wide a megalodon's jaw was and difficult to guess based on teeth alone. Some shark species have gaps between each tooth, while in others they overlap. Even though this potentially advances our understanding, we haven't really settled the question of how big megalodon was.